Everyone desires an identity, and I think when there's not one for us, it's we're searching for any. I mean, we're searching for anything. Yeah. I mean, white was out there, black was white out there, so you know, I wouldn't search for that. But I never. The only person I knew I loved and wanted to be like was Mariah Carey because she was mixed, <laughs> and yeah, and that was the only person I can remember really having, and she was like light skin like me, so I was just like. Mariah Carey. I feel like at first she was like, oh, my dad's Venezuelan. He's not black. Huh. Did, like, how did I miss that Mariah Carey was like standing up for mixed people? I don't, well, it was never talked about. It's still it was not just talked something, about. Yeah, not so much. And I was just like, but I remember seeing her being like, wait a wait minute. A minute. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? But, um, I don't think it was ever really talked about, and I don't even think now it's it's really talked about. That no, much. not much. You know, not but much. um, I do know that I, yeah, I found out some way, and um, and I loved it. Um, can you tell me what prompted you to write your show, which is so fantastic? Thank and, you. <laughs> yeah, it really um, is. I guess I was. This is. It's been building. It had been building all my life, and I just, I've, I've been getting asked, what are you, and I had been getting asked, what are you, so much that I wanted to tell people, once and for all, what I was, and how I was this, and what it was like, and let people know what it was like, at least for me, to grow up mixed race, and become mixed, like I am now, so, yeah. And do you, have you been coming across, um, not other one woman shows, but other, more mixed race characters, or do you see an increase at all in the storytelling? I don't really know what scripts people are getting. I don't see, I see more acceptance, I suppose, but in the, in, in like TV land, movie world, no. Not really. That's unfortunate. Well, we'll not, change not it. cast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, not specifically cast as mixed. You know, it's like there may be mixed people in these roles, but it would be interesting right. to see someone cast a mixed person cast as mixed. You know, right? A black mom and a white dad. Yes. It would be really nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, or yeah, just nice to know that people even are aware. And I do think that. Although Obama doesn't really stand up for being biracial in the way that a lot of biracial people wish that he would. Mm -hmm. That at least people are thinking about it more. Yeah. Uh, and I guess by that I kind of mean white people because from what I've gleaned, black people have been thinking about it. Some negatively and some not. Uh -huh. For years, but I think white people have been able to sort of silently be taught the one drop rule and there wasn't really a, a perception of the fact that we're even out there and that, yeah, we really do have a white parent, just like you, one of your parents is white. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, exactly, like, exactly. I think people are more willing to be open to yeah. what we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's definitely in their face now. When you say you want people to see that you're mixed and what that's like, yeah. like what are you wanting them to see and learn from that? I just felt that that was um, a story that hadn't been told. I hadn't heard it. And I wanted people to know what it was like to be asked, what are you, in everyday situations. And I wanted people to think about that. Um, and a lot of it was, was, I just wanted to educate people on what it was like and what's going on and the racism that people don't talk about but does exist. <laughs> the end of your piece, I mean, I'm going to paraphrase, but maybe that you had been saying that race doesn't matter but you realize that it does matter and yeah. it matters to you. Yeah. It's in your face all the time. You can't really get away from it. Yeah. That was really profound to me because I'm always like, oh, I'm trying to tell people that race doesn't matter. Yeah. And I mean, I am. Yeah. But that's like way down the road. Yeah. You know, like the first
first thing is that race matters every day. Yeah, and my race matters, and here I am. So, yeah. Right, yeah. I just, so I guess I really want people to watch your stuff. <laughs> so good, and that, at the end, it was like, yeah. I think I had been sort of seduced by, oh, I'm above race. Exactly, me too, me too. And then I realized, it's like, wait a minute. I'm like, These so in this race. aren't even <laughs> thinking about asking me what are you five minutes after and meanwhile five years after I'm just like this is still right. a thing and it's like we're so used to and I think this is something we don't necessarily do unless we're trying to be like what type of a white person are you and what type of a black person are you right. and how am I best to navigate dealing with you but I think people are so unconsciously, you're this, you're this, you're that, you're that. I would exactly. give you time, I won't give you time, I'll give you time, I'll give you, oh wait, what are you? Yeah, I, yeah, whoa. yeah. And they have to Can't ask. Categorize, yeah. But they don't get that that's going on. It's kind of like we're able to observe. Right, right. From an outside and an inside perspective. Yeah, you're right, yeah. I think that is an invaluable perspective and people ought to want to hear it. <laughs> I agree, yeah. So, do you have anything you'd like to say? Um, um no, I guess that's good. I'm interested to hear what everyone else has to say. Check the comments. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. meeting me.